Good morning folks, this is Nathan Kumar here with another ROM preview on my, of my Samsung Galaxy X3. I have just installed the MyUI Rayglobe ROM version 4.0 which is a mix between Jelly Bean CM10 ROM. Okay, the, as you may know about MyUI, it's a pretty famous ROM for Android based phones. You get the latest OS but it doesn't look like Android in any way. It's the most customizable ROM. Um, MyUI as they say is bring excess extensive theme support built in backup restore full functions such as guard etc um, this is a few features this developer says that you get in this ROM the touches for weather widget S memo dialog widget S voice Google 4.2 apps such as the camera keyboard Google now calendar and many other things which it says uh, like I said there's three different types of ROM you can install for S3 one is the CM10 ROM other one is the stock Samsung kernel based ROMs if you want to like all the motion effects or you get my UI which is the iOS version of Android okay and that is this is my phone and you can see the time 544 and you can see I've installed angry bird lock screen see, and the next sound also if you pull it down to the moon it goes onto the home page you can see the home page is a grid of icons same like the Apple uh, store and the default left hand screen you get it like apple as such search bar and this is a android 4.2 keyboard you can see the swipe function this one will show you that uh, then let's just go to the different uh, apps that is installed under it this page is the one which i installed from the net from the, the store you like i said you, one thing about this rom you get samsung apps it works i tried many other different roms it doesn't work on my phone you get google play music you get flash install you get and uh, gmail 4.2 um, as you know gmail 4.2 consists of the pinch too uh, you get smmo flash the play store you get unwanted stuff such as google plus Messenger, which I wish I could delete, but can't, can't be done. You get a S video, a standard S video is the video player that it pops up like uh, like what you get in Samsung. So one thing you get unique in this built-in antivirus, security monitor, all this you get built-in. Um, the settings, the setting menu look totally different from what you get stock Android. You can see. This one is the same, you go to about phone and you can see 4.1.2, Ray Globe, Quad Core, 1GB RAM, 3.9 internal memory and SD card 4.75. This is my UI version 1. And this is the settings. You can change this and yeah, this is the phone data. This is the I think this is a contact stamp. So internet. This is the messaging tab. Okay. Um what do I do? I can see. Yeah, one of the few things I hate about the home, it comes with three cameras. Yes, absolutely three cameras. One, this is the my UI camera. The settings option. You can see the video, anti-shake burst. Color effects, three color effects, delay snap, shutter, silence. I don't know. One thing I can find this wrong is in this camera is how to go to the front facing cam. Okay, that's one. The second camera is the ICS and Jelly Bean 4.1 camera. As you can see, you get yeah, the sound is the same. You get the small, you can put shutter button, you can use press the shutter button, take photograph. You get a few functionality, you get a screen mode, you get flash. In this, yeah, in this one it's pretty easy to transfer the front facing camera. If I can see that icon on the screen. And yeah, in this options you can go to video player. Panoramic photo. Oh yeah, there it is. There are my recording with this. 
and now the last one is the Android 4.2 camera as you can see okay so now connect to camera and now wait yep here it is click on this and this and go to the different settings which you want video player panorama one and the photo fear i've already done a brief overview of this of the android 4.2 camera before so i'm not going to do it again and you get three gallery one is the stock android gallery so a few photos which i took you get that uh, film strip effect which copy from windows 7 so i have to delete Gallery. This is the My UI gallery and this is the 4.2 gallery. Same thing, so I got to delete it. And let me see if anything is on. You can go to press this button and then you can go to the launch effect. It changed the animation of the launch effect. Sorry. Cascading page. I like the page one. You can see it comes as a page, you are turning pages. Multitasking is different plus the home button. You get this option. Swipe through all the pages. Click this, so deleting everything. Okay, the notification table is also different. This is a notification thing. And you have to think on the notification to toggle the different. Brightness. And click on more, you get all the options in your notification. What can I show you? Yeah, this ROM is pretty famous for the theme option. Completely modify each and every as aspect. Go to the mix, you can modify all this individually. Lock screen, lock screen, wallpapers, wallpapers, icons, ringtones, notification center, fonts, status bar, home, boot animation, dialer, SMS, boot, anime, boot audio. Sorry. And now I have installed a few themes from the net. With all the themes they install from the net. Among them, my favorite is this one. Uh, where is it gone? Where is it gone? I find it which I like a lot. Wow, some kind of which I like a lot. So long. Yes, so much I like a lot. I'll show you why. Apply a new theme. Apply a new theme will take a time. It takes its own time because the animation is not right. In downloading something from the My UI store is really really slow. Okay, so it's okay, applied. It's home screen now you can see it's changed. The icons change, everything change. You can check the dialogue, it changes completely. See it's on the stock Samsung. Okay. What I like about this is the animation for the lock screen you can see 552 the line you can see you can lift up the window blinds and you can see light falling onto the table so the screen is unlocked um, oh yeah i put this in multi misuse mode enable nobody else can use my phone yes. oops why is this coming okay Click on the phone, drag it there, it goes directly to the window. And for us now I can show you. Yeah. There's one more there's two modes in this. Maybe it's swipe up. Or swipe down. It changes into yeah, the cartoonish image. Turn on the desktop. Uh, clicking on the relevant thing will go in the relevant, you click on this part, it goes to block mode mode, block calls mode. Click on this, it goes to the memo. Memo tab. You this one I will install I will install a calculator. So we'll go into the click on this. I don't know why this in this suit application was installed. Click on this, go to messages. Click on this, goes to the clock. Click on the phone, goes to the telephone. Okay, nice view. Click on this, goes to the contacts. This goes 
and that's the pyro where the this one goes to the torch and you can see some other animations right here so what this is this is not at all and if you notice the cache shortcut here this goes to the file explorer see it opens go to file explorer oh. yeah. so this is the file explorer and this one goes to the settings tab like I said, these are a few things about this phone and this setting has two types one is the full settings or the common settings home settings you'll have all this um, like wallpaper this doesn't work at all with this application I've tried installing it fails all the time ok so if you go to the home screen and then yeah. oh it works but you can see the live wallpaper is not very accurate on this ok this is just about it uh, uh, my UI ROM for Samsung Galaxy S3 I guess it, many most of the things work but so it's not for those people who don't like iOS feel for people who want to completely customize the ROM this is a perfect ROM ok till then wish you all a good day bye bye